I'm here with Andre Lochman, one of the policy makers and a member of Czech Parliament. Hello. Hello, nice afternoon. So what was your role here at the conference today? I was invited as an expert, well, a policymaker. Uh, I used to be a youth worker as well. Nowadays I'm a member of the parliament, so I came in both roles. I have the experience in the youth work and as well I'm a policymaker today. What group did you join? Well, we've been speaking about uh, mobility and as well uh, solidarity towards young people and especially about disadvantaged youth. What specific ideas uh, were there how to solve such uh, huge problems? We were speaking about how to connect uh, young people that are from disadvantaged groups that have either physical disabilities or economic disabilities to uh, either international uh, youth work and exchange of volunteer, uh, experience of volunteering or to local volunteering. Uh, so that was quite interesting. We had about 15 people in the group. Uh, I have to say that we went across all different kinds of topics, especially we've been speaking about the fact that it is good to include uh, young people with some kind of disabilities among the mainstream group uh, and as well that if we try to in involve them in international things, in international um, um, training course or uh, some kind of volunteering mission, that it should be short term so they can first get a taste and then of course surf at home and join the volunteering, uh, uh, volunteering activities. The delegates also shared some of the ideas and examples of good practices. Were there some that stood out to you that maybe we should also implement here in the Czech Republic? Well, we've been speaking with our colleague from Finland, uh, I think his name was uh, Nicholas, uh, about the fact that in Finland, uh, uh, when he wanted to go to this conference, he didn't get a special credit for coming here. And he wished to do, to do that. So. Uh, but, as, but because he is at the school where there are athletes, athletes always get the free time to go uh, and practice. But when you want to represent uh, the Finland at the youth conference, you don't. So this is not really good practice, but it's an idea how to put this to curriculum. Because I think it is as important to be physically well prepared to get skills, the soft skills for your whole life. Uh, I think that can be a good, uh, good uh, practice that if you use it, uh, then the formal education gives you special credit to be part of the non-formal education as well. Uh, is the dialogue with young people in Czech Republic enough and are we breaking down the barrier between the old generation and the young generation? Well, I'm quite in the middle, I'm being 40 something. Uh, well, the, uh, the event today is an example of the fact that there is a dialogue. We have here young people that are unorganized, we have people from youth organizations, we have here young policymakers, and you do see that they do speak. I, I mean, I've been to one group, but there, were, there was, I think there were four other groups. Uh, it seems to me that the dialogue here works. Uh, myself, I'm myself as a member of parliament, trying to involve young people, I have a very young support team. Uh, I'm trying to speak with the, young, with the local parliaments, youth parliaments. So I think that the dialogue is there. Uh, of course, we need as well inclusion, inclusion to youth policy decisions, for example. So you hear the young people and the fact that young people be heard and they have the possibility to act and be part of the change, I think that's the most important thing. And today, I think what I've seen here, this is happening. And uh, I wouldn't say this is a bright future, but I think this is a good start. Uh, as many of the starts that I've seen, it is a good venue. It's good feeling here and I believe that the experience that the young people take from here will empower them and they will be the part of the change. I think that's a very positive attitude towards the idea. My last question is, uh, do you have a message for either the delegates that are already here to continue their work or to youth in general to become active European citizens? Well, the message would be, uh, do have your ideals. I'm a politician today. I was one of the persons at this kind of conference 13 years ago, I did have my ideals. The more I'm in politics, of course, the, m the more I kind of get, uh, the more I lose them because I see how complicated it is, but I still do have my ideals. And I think young people should have them, should, be, uh, should believe that they can be part of the change and become the change. Uh, and I think we as politicians should empower them and I'll do the best from my side to do it. Thank you so much. That was Andrzej Lochman, a member of Czech Parliament. Thank you for the interview. Thank you for the invite and uh, change the world.